Katie, are you impressed with Dame's Bucks or disappointed in KD's Suns? I'm going with impressed with the Bucks win, right? You talk about not having Giannis and still getting a big win like that against a really, really good team and talented team with the Suns. Damian Lillard is a hell of a player, no right? Doubt. What are you dropping? 31, 16 assists, 16 assists, 31. Can I say it again? 31 and 16 assists? Mm. Yeah, oh, all man. trade Same. balls, threes, whatever you need. And he's warming up. I think he's get, he's hitting his stride at the right time, getting ready for the postseason. Well, we haven't seen Dane play at his best, right? We've seen some good moments um, against OKC, right, when he's with Portland. Mm. Send him home, right, over Paul George. We've seen some good moments, but we haven't seen him on a big stage with playing with a, a, a contender, a good team. We always knew the Blazers, no matter where they went in the playoffs, they were going to lose to somebody. Now with the Bucks, a top team in the East, we want to see it. I want to see the matchup against them in the Sixers, against them in the, um, in the Boston Celtics. I want to see it. So I'm happy for Dame. Big win. I like that uh, better than, than uh, the disappointment from the Suns. And we're going to see in the playoffs what time it is, because Dame, he always checks that clock when it's time to hit that big shot. Hmm. Slick? Hmm. I, I am disappointed in the Phoenix Suns, oh. without question. Not, not just this game, Dang. but big picture. Mm. But I am more impressed with the Milwaukee Bucks okay. and what they have been. Because this isn't the first time that they've won without Giannis. Right. And it actually kind of puts Damian back into his comfort zone where he's the guy and can just run it. I think one of the challenges he's, he's had is trying to figure out yeah. how do I fit in with, with Giannis. Um, but I did not expect the Milwaukee Bucks to be this good. And mm. a case can be made that they're actually better than they were last season when they, uh, when they won at like a 70% rate. Uh, if you look at their defensive rating and their offensive rating last year compared to this year, they're a different team. Their strength is at the offensive end, which you would expect, changing out Damian, uh, taking Damian Lillard in for Drew Holiday. Oh, yeah. But overall, they haven't fallen off as much defensively as they've improved offensively. Mm -hmm. And I would, look, I thought losing Drew Holiday was going to impact them defensively to the point where Damian wasn't going to be able to make up for it. And what they've proven offensively is that they have. Now, how that plays out in the playoffs, that remains to be seen. But this is a better overall Milwaukee Bucks team than I expected when they traded out Drew Holiday. Yeah, I hear you. It was really impressive, but especially without Giannis. But I'm disappointed in the Suns. Come on now. Come on. I mean, you got... You have everyone contributing, everyone's healthy. And it is a rare night for KD. Like, he's the god, right? Like, he's not gonna, he's not gonna consistently have these nights. But you can't have these nights right now. Is the problem, or days in this case. And there's <laughs> been some of these nights throughout the season. You, you just, he scored more than 11 points 1,237 times in his career. Mm. This is a rare night. Mm. But, you can't have it right now, and especially when everyone else is contributing. And you're playing against a really good team that doesn't have their best player. Mm -hmm. And even going down to it, if Durant just averages what he's been averaging all season long, they don't lose this game. And you're in the play-in. Yeah. Like, and you, you're in the play-in. You have reason to be playing. Exactly. Like, this right is, now, right? this is yeah. a time. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't afford to have this kind of performance. Now, I'm not going to kill KD, obviously, because, like I said, this is a rare showing from him. But the Suns are just a team that I think have a lot of potential. And it just seems like it's, keep, just, mm. it's, like mm. it's going, and it's like this. It's just, it, it's, a, it's a sputtering engine. And I get it. They have, a, they have an older roster, although the Bucks have the oldest roster in the league. They do. So there, that's not the, that much of an excuse either. I just want to see the Suns put it all together. So this was, this was a really disappointing loss. Yeah, this is, this is disappointing for the Suns. Number, number one, we are at a time where you got to have it. There ain't no time to be chilling, relaxing, and like we got games to give up. You are in the play-in tournament right now. You have to win these games. And even the last couple games, you lose by 15 to Boston, then 10 to Boston, and then you give up 140 to the Milwaukee Bucks without Giannis, without one Giannis. of the best players in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. This shows me that, number one, mindset-wise, coaching this team, whatever, like, y'all playing around, y'all relaxing and all that. Oh, no Giannis there. We just came off of losing to the Celtics twice by double digits. And then you go out here and play like this. This is embarrassing. You have three all-stars on your team, premier scores on your team with Bradley, Bill, Booker, and KD. Yeah. And y'all getting treated like this in games to where you have to have it? Like, come on, man. This, you know, this, this is embarrassing. This is, this you know is this disappointing. Was? This is all of it. I don't even know the words to say. But come on, sons. I, well, I have words for you. You know what come this on, was? Please. This has Clippers vibes. 
lot of big names, mm. a lot of talent. Mm. And in fact, the Clippers, not too long ago, lost the Milwaukee Bucks on their home floor yeah. without Giannis Antetokounmpo playing. And that's my issue. Look, the, I guess the reason why I'm more impressed with the Bucks is because I'm not all that surprised at what's happening with the Suns. I thought they would be a better regular season team because they would just overwhelm teams with their scoring ability. Mm -hmm. And they've done that. But as far as a team that can contend, all their, all their strength is in one place. They can score. Mm -hmm. they, I mean, they're, they're, I think, fifth in the league in, in field goal percentage. Bradley Beal is shooting over 50%. Kevin, Kevin Durant is shooting over 50%. Uh, Devin Booker is shooting 49%. Yusuf Nurkic is shooting over 50%. Like, all across the board, they shoot the ball well. They just don't do anything else mm. very well. They don't make, they don't play make. They were like, for all that sh scoring, they're 13th in assists, right? Yeah. They don't rebound well. Mm. They don't defend well. Like, and you just, they need more balance. All of their strength is in one particular place. It's almost, it's like an NFL team that can like go up and down the field, mm -hmm. but they're gonna let the other team go up and down the field too. And they don't, they have one way to win is to outscore you. So it sounds like you're saying it's over for them. Well, well, they, they've been hurt too though. Can, can we throw that in there a little bit? They've been injured. They've been banged up. Yeah. All three of them. Uh, look, I, I'm not saying that they can't be better. I'm just saying that they haven't. Like, show me that you can yeah. defend. Like, because look, defending is is basically well, energy and effort. That's it. Can, can, can I ask you, can I ask you this then, Slick? Because you're the basketball genius here. If you're a coach, yeah. And all these things you talked about, it's mm -hmm. true, right? Do you want to see this team fully healthy? That's the thing, though, because. The, the regular season don't matter, though. The Cowboys showed you that. That don't matter regular season. Mm. It's all about what you do in the postseason. Mm. If you up and down, all you do is score, you can't play no defense. Yeah. We get in this, we get in this playoffs, and it's you against this team, like the best out of seven. Do you really want to see them playing, the, the Suns? Do you want to no. face them? No, uh, no. Uh, That's what can, I'm saying. Without question, they can be dangerous. Maybe you do. Right? Uh, but <laughs> but if, you're at, if we go back to the question, okay. like, the Milwaukee Bucks have been a team that I did not expect them to be yeah. overall, just talent-wise. And the Phoenix Suns have also not been the team that I expected like to right. see, but in the other direction. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if KD just scores what he averages, this is we're not having this conversation today. Yeah. And we're not even really mad at the Bucks because Giannis wasn't there. But they have to do that in the postseason if, you know, they make it to this player tournament, it's which is going to be... Oh, it's going to be fire. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.